Meet the all-new Uniview IQ NVR. With this recorder, you can finally equip your third-party cameras with the full range of Uniview's deep learning intelligent events. With additional intelligent features such as facial recognition and ultra motion detection, these IQ NVRs from Uniview will take your video surveillance system into a whole new world of artificial intelligence. If you're familiar with our Uniview products, you know that our NVRs come in various shapes and sizes. From entry-level NVRs, all the way up to more professional-grade, enterprise-level recorders, and everything in between. Uniview's IQ NVRs doesn't add an additional tier to this spectrum. Instead, it offers a counterpart to each of our current Uniview NVRs. Now, at the time of this recording in the summer of 2024, these NVRs are brand new, and therefore we don't have every single NVR available as an IQ model. But in the coming weeks and months, Uniview's NVR lines are going to be going through a transition, which is something we'll have to get into in another video. But for now, all I will say is if you see an NVR on our website that doesn't have an IQ counterpart, it's very likely that either an IQ version of that NVR is on its way in the future, or potentially that particular NVR might be an end of life product. You'll just have to reach out to our team and we can help you figure out the specifics. But now we've got to answer this question, what is an IQ NVR? What sets a standard Uniview NVR apart from its IQ counterpart? The answer is the IQ Analyzer. The Intelligent Analyzer is what makes a Uniview IQ NVR an IQ NVR. This is an intelligent component that allows the NVR itself to process intelligent events. That analyzer has three basic functions. First, the analyzer can handle facial recognition. Second, it can process SIP events, which stands for Smart Intrusion Protection. And finally, that analyzer can also process ultra motion detection events. And since the analyzer is located on the NVR, that means we can process all three of these events from the NVR itself without any information coming from the camera. For both facial recognition and SIP events, the NVR is going to be able to process this information whether you're using a Uniview camera, a UniArch camera, or a third-party camera through either the OnVIF protocol or through an RTSP feed. Ultra motion detection, on the other hand, even though this is processed on the NVR side, it's only going to work with Uniview cameras or UniArch cameras. Ultra motion detection will not work with either OnVIF or RTSP streams. So typically, with a non-IQ NVR, all of the video analytics processing is done in the security camera itself. This is why when you connect a Uniview security camera to a Uniview NVR, everything just works the way it should because all of the intelligent analytics is happening inside the camera and the camera is communicating that to the NVR. But what happens when you add, say, an R-series camera or another third-party security camera to a Uniview NVR? Well, thankfully, most modern IP security cameras and NVRs today run on the OnVIF protocol, which means there is some level of compatibility between a Uniview NVR and a third-party camera like R-series. However, due to the limitations of the OnVIF protocol, you'll most likely only be able to pull in video and maybe audio. Even though this R-series camera does have its own intelligent events, and it is processing those events inside the camera, there's no way for the third-party camera and the Uniview recorder to share those analytics back and forth because that doesn't go through the OnVIF protocol, that goes through the camera's protocol, the NVR's protocol, they don't speak the same language. They didn't speak the same language. But now with Uniview's IQ NVR, we can bypass that component of camera to NVR communication. And this is what allows us to use both facial recognition and SIP events, even if you're using a third party security camera, because all of that intelligent processing can happen right here at the NVR level. This is gonna be a game changer for many of you security installers out there, because with an IQ NVR, you don't have to use Uniview cameras to have access to Uniview's intelligent events. So let's talk about these three basic functions of the analyzer. The first thing to note is that the analyzer cannot switch between these three modalities. When you go to set up your NVR for the first time, you'll decide if you want facial recognition, which is on by default, if you want SIP events, or if you want ultra motion detection. With one analyzer on an IQ NVR, you can only have one of these modalities working across all of the channels. You can't have facial recognition on channel one, for instance, and then SIP analytics on channel two. It just doesn't work that way. Okay, let's talk about what 
these three modes are. First, let's talk about facial recognition. This is not to be confused with facial detection. Most Uniview cameras these days do have facial detection, which means the camera is able to detect if it sees a face or not. And then it can trigger an event like an alarm, recording, push notification. But that event can only tell you if there is a face present in your surveillance scene. It doesn't have the capabilities to recognize who that face might belong to. Enter the IQ analyzer. With the analyzer set into facial recognition mode, you can set up libraries of face snapshots. Once you have face lists ready to go, you can use these to set up recognition events. For instance, let's say we have a list of employees at Nelly Security and we have all of their faces loaded in there. We can then set up a security camera in say our warehouse, a place that only our employees should have access to. Then we can set up an intelligent event using this camera and the analyzer on the NVR to sound an alarm or to send an email or a push notification if the camera sees a face in our warehouse that doesn't match any face in our employee list. This is helpful for running reports and making sure that nobody is in an area where they shouldn't have access to. That's more of a whitelist feature with us telling the NVR who does belong in a certain area. We can also use this as a blacklist feature. For instance, maybe you're the manager of a popular food chain and you have a list of customers who are banned from that food chain forever. You can populate a face list with snapshots of people who shouldn't be on your property and set up an intelligent event to sound an alarm or trigger recording or send out a notification if it does recognize somebody on that list coming onto your premises. And of course, these work as just standard triggers for a Uniview event, so you can set this up with whatever output you're used to. They're super flexible for you to work with to create the kind of alerts that you need for these facial recognition events. Let's talk about limitations because these analyzers can only do so much. You're not gonna be able to necessarily pump all of the camera footage into the analyzer for processing. So when it comes to facial recognition, if you're using all Uniview cameras, then you can set up facial recognition across all channels. This is because the face detection happens in the camera itself. A snapshot is taken of that face and that snapshot is sent to the analyzer on the NVR where it does all of the face comparison analytics behind the scenes. Since it's only working with a snapshot, there's really no limitation to what you can do with it in terms of the number of channels. However, if you have a third party camera connected to your NVR, like an R series camera or even a UniArch camera or any other camera, Hike Vision, Dawa, whatever you have connected to your Uniview NVR that isn't a Uniview camera is gonna have more limitations simply because the camera has to send the entire clip to the NVR and not just a single snapshot. The limitations here are going to vary based on the NVR that you have, so I will put a table here that shows you how many channels you can use the facial recognition with if you're using third-party cameras. So that's facial recognition. Let's move on to the second mode, which is SIP events. SIP, or Smart Intrusion Prevention, is the set of standard intelligent events that you're used to seeing across pretty much every Uniview product. This is line crossing, this is intrusion detection, this is area entrance, area exit. So why would you want to have this working through the analyzer on the NVR? Well, again, this is all about using your third-party cameras with your Uniview system. If you have six Uniview cameras on a system and two R-series cameras or some other third-party brand, you're going to be able to treat those extra two cameras almost as if they're just regular Uniview products. So even with an R-series camera, you're gonna be able to go in there and set up line crossing or intrusion detection just like you would with a regular Uniview camera. This is because all of that analytics information is gonna be processed on the NVR itself. Let's talk limitations, and here they are. So for our eight channel NVR that we have set up here, we're only going to be able to add up to two non-Uniview cameras to process with this analyzer. So those are the two modes that we can use with third-party cameras. Let's shift our focus to ultra motion detection and talk about when you might want to activate this modality instead. Ultra motion detection isn't quite as advanced as our smart intrusion prevention. Since ultra motion detection takes up less processing power than the other two modes, you aren't going to have the same amount of limitations. So you can level up your artificial intelligence on more cameras across your system System with ultra motion detection. There's just gonna be some trade-off. You're not gonna have access to line crossing, intrusion detection, area entrance, and exit. Instead, ultra motion detection is basically pixel-based motion detection with AI filters. 
Pixel-based motion detection has been around in IP cameras long before AI. This is your standard grid where the camera just looks for movement in the pixels. We don't use it as much as we used to because it's easy to trigger false alarms with regular motion detection. Pixel-based motion detection doesn't have the same reliability as, say, an intelligent event looking for a person crossing a specific line. It doesn't have the same level of control. You're not able to dial it in as much. But the good thing about this is that it's not just basic motion detection, it's ultra motion detection. You have the added ability to target either humans or motorized vehicles. This is really gonna help you cut out the vast majority of your false alarms. It's gonna make this motion detection a lot more useful than it would be without those AI filters. And it's going to allow you to use your Uniview and UniArch cameras in a more effective way. Even though this event cannot be used with third-party cameras, and even though it's a little bit more limited in scope than SIP events, this is still a really great modality to have for a couple of reasons. First, let's say you have a standard Uniview view camera set up with face detection or people counting. If you have one of these more advanced events set up, your camera will not allow you to have additional intelligent events such as line crossing or intrusion detection, which puts quite a bit of limitations onto your camera. If you want your camera to be able to do more than just people counting, this is a great opportunity for you to connect one of these IQ NVRs to your camera with ultra motion detection running on the NVR side. Again, you won't be able to do line crossing or intrusion detection but you are still going to get that smart analysis with the ultra motion detection. You'll still be able to filter out false alarms and set up triggers based on human or vehicle detection. Another use case for ultra motion detection is if you have several UniArch cameras on your property. Since UniArch cameras are basically very stripped down Uniview cameras, these cameras don't come with any kind of intelligent event and you are limited to just motion detection. However, if you take these UniArch security cameras and add them to a Uniview IQ NVR, you're going to be able to turn on this ultra motion detection mode and have access to more intelligent features that are natively available on UniArch cameras. So that is the basics of the IQ NVR. I'm going to throw these three modes and their limitations back up here on the screen one more time so you can get an idea of whether or not these NVRs are going to be useful for you. Let us know in the comments down below what do you think of these new IQ NVRs? Are you gonna use them yourself? Are you gonna install them for your clients? Are you going to stick to non-IQ versions because you only install Uniview cameras? Whatever the case may be, we're excited to hear your feedback and we're here to support you if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Check out the link in the description below to check out our IQ NVRs from Uniview and bring your Uniview video surveillance system into the world of AI. Thank you guys for watching this video. Happy installing and I will see you in the next one.